Hello, everyone, and welcome to Counselor Ear Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about how to automatically activate a patient's portal and then automatically send them the invite email. Now, as you may already know, you can always activate the portal directly within the patient profile. You simply go to the portal tab, you can activate, uh, and then right away you can go ahead and send them an invite email. Now, quick note, you do need an email in place in order to activate the portal because the invite, of course, goes out via email. But if you ever do this manually, of course you can. You just pop into their email, pick your template, and you send it out. Okay, but the process I'm going to show you now is a way that this can be automated. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to the administration and then clinic list. In the clinic list, go ahead and edit uh, a clinic. And it's important to note this, if you do have multiple locations, you would do this for each clinic location. We're going to go right away to the uh, advanced settings tab and look for the patient portal settings. Okay. This is the area where there is information about how to set up the portal within your clinic website. So if you haven't already done that, uh, there are instructions here. And of course, we can give you some guidance as well. But this is the area I want to focus on right now, the portal registration email template. This, uh, when set, this is going to be the email that's automatically sent to patients uh, upon completing an appointment. Okay, So that's when the invite would go out. So in a typical workflow, you've seen the patient, you've completed the appointment, um, on the schedule. That then triggers the portal, in this case the hearing health portal, email template to go out to the patient and behind the scenes counselor would have then activated their portal uh, within their profile. So it just makes the process very simple, very routine. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click close and very importantly here we're going to click save and that will lock in that change. So now um, uh, as patients for the, in this case, the Sandbox Clinic have their appointments completed, they will automatically receive the portal registration email. It's important to know if they're, if they're, it's important to note that if their portal is already activated, they will not receive the email. So this is just for patients that have not yet activated their portal. Okay. There is one other area I want to point out quickly before we go back to the patient profile, and that is here under administration and patient setup, the portal options. This is something you may want to uh, take a quick look at, um, particularly if you're going to set this up to be automated, you do want to make sure you know uh, which areas you by default have displaying within the portal. Of course, you can change these uh, as your defaults. You also can change this for individual patients. So uh, as need be, you can add or remove things. Okay. Um, but what I want to do next is actually jump to the schedule what we're going to do for our patient here at Laura is we're going to go ahead and complete her appointment. Okay. Then we'll jump into her profile. And what we're going to see is that her portal is now activated. This wasn't activated before. And counselors then are going to automatically send out an email for the hearing health portal. So you can see that has already occurred, right? Just by clicking uh, that complete option, the email has been sent out and the portal activated. Once again, you could modify this. You could change what's being displayed here and then save, right? And that would be what's visible in the patient portal. Uh, but once again, this uh, method is intended to make the process much more routine uh, and, and make it easier to get uh, patients access to their portal quickly. Okay, if you have any questions, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for today's Counselor Ear Future Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.